This video will be about multiplying and dividing with decimal places on a mechanical calculator. What I have here is a NISA Model K1 made in 1959 by the NISA company in Czechoslovakia. It was a copy of the Monroe Model LN, which is based on patents from 1912. The Monroe calculator functions in the, in the exact same way, and so this procedure is applicable to that model and other models that follow the split drum carry design. We're going to get right into it. We're going to do a decimal number that has two decimal places multiplied by a number that has one decimal place. So we're going to, when you're multiplying, you want to make sure the larger number is in the keyboard, the smaller number is going to appear up in the upper display. So we're going to set two decimal places on the keyboard and we're going to set one decimal place in the upper display where the where our multiplier will be and the answer will appear at the bottom display. The decimal place for the bottom display is the number of decimal places in the keyboard plus the number of decimal places in the multiplier. In this case we have two decimal places and one and two plus one is three, so go ahead and set three decimal places in the answer. So we'll type in uh, 45.56 and we'll go ahead and give this a crank. Now you'll see 45.56 times 0.1 gives us 4.556. Now we're going to multiply 45.56 by 12.5. So we have to crank until we see 0.5. And then we shift the carriage over, work on the next digit, and we said 12.5, so 2, shift over again, and we have 12.5, gives us 569.5 as our answer. Now we'll go ahead and clear the carriage and clear the keyboard. We're going to do a division with a decimal place. So if we want to divide a number with two decimal places, 43.21, we're going to leave the keyboard marker here because we have 43.21 and we want our answer to have one more decimal place than our starting number so that we can round up. So in this case, our starting number has two decimal places, so we want our answer to have three decimal places so that we can round up. And the same thing of adding the number of decimal places on the keyboard and the upper display applies here, and we have two plus three is five. We want five decimal places in the bottom one, in the bottom display. Now. Unlike the multiplication where we start with the carriage to the left, we're going to start so that the decimal place on the lower display lines up with the decimal place on the keyboard. Still in repeat mode, I'll go ahead and give this a clockwise crank. We have we see 43.21. Clear the keyboard. And we want to clear the upper display to start. So we want to start with zeros. Okay, and we want to divide it by 2.6. 2.6 and we need to justify the first number of the divisor with the first number of the number being divided. So we'll go ahead and set that so that the 4 is in line with the 2. All right. Now we'll turn the crank counterclockwise to essentially what we're doing is subtracting until we can't subtract anymore and then we'll shift the carriage over. When you subtract to the point where you can't subtract anymore, you will hear a bell. That's called the underflow bell. And it tells you that you have to go back one crank because you've passed zero. So we'll go ahead and turn this until we hear the bell. There's the bell. So we'll give it one positive crank. Turn it, move the carriage over. And keep turning. There's the bell. And keep doing this until you run out of decimal places. And there we have our answer is 16.619. That is the correct answer. I have double checked it. 
So we would easily be able to round that up to 16.62, and that would be acceptable. If we wanted more decimal places, we would have to start with the upper display over more, which would also push the lower display over more, which would start the carriage over more towards the right to give us more decimal places, because you see we have a remainder of 60, so that means there are more numbers that come after. In this case, we're not too worried about it. We only needed two decimal places of resolution, so three decimal places to allow us to round up is more than sufficient. I hope you enjoyed that, learned something. I found a very disturbing lack of videos on how to do proper division and multiplication, especially with decimal numbers, uh, mechanical calculators. So after reading through the manual and uh, messing around with this one, I thought I would make up a short video, try and do it all in one take so I don't have to edit it, and hopefully that goes according to plan. Hope you got something out of it, and uh, I'll uh, see you around next time.